This is Required Watching, where we watch the essential films from lists of cinematic influencers and look at them through the lens of learning about filmmaking and how to move forward. I'm your host, Trey Epps, and today we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to be talking about a filmmaker that people don't seem to talk about. That's right. Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson. Uh, it's, it's, it's October, and I feel like it's only appropriate. Um, but just want to start out by saying that if you feel triggered by talking about Michael Jackson, you have every right, and you don't have to listen to this whatsoever. But to begin, I think Michael Jackson wasn't just the king of pop. He was a visionary who transformed music videos into cinematic experiences with complex narratives and unforgettable visuals. Two of his most groundbreaking works were Thriller and Ghosts, and they stand out as prime examples of how Michael Jackson elevated the music video into short film art, complete with character arts, storytelling, and innovative effects. So let's start with Thriller. In 83, the pinnacle of <laughs> Thriller was the, the pinnacle of, of Michael Jackson's short films. It was directed by John Landis. And Thriller wasn't merely a music video, video, but it was a 13-minute horror movie featuring a, what, a full narrative of twists and character development and cinematic production quality. Michael Jackson redefined what a music video could be by merging the world of classic horror with his signature dance style, resulting in the most iconic dance sequence in, in musical history. And that includes TikTok. <laughs> Thriller is much more than just his famous dance from the opening scene where Michael Jackson transforms into a werewolf under a full moon. The film immerses viewers into a horror movie atmosphere complete with eerie sound design, foggy woods, and, and sudden scares. The decision to, to delay the start of the actual song for several minutes demonstrates Michael Jackson's commitment to prioritizing the story. With Thriller, he reimagined music videos as visual art that could entertain audiences as effectively as any blockbuster film. In fact, if I'm not mistaken, with this, uh, with this music video, he said he wanted every music video to feel like a short film, which is why you'll often find that they, they are. Um, so yeah, when you think about visual albums and concept or art, uh, concept albums and all that, no, no, no. Don't think about Beyonce. Think about Michael Jackson, who really wanted to make sure that every aspect of, of a single or a music video was going to get uh, full-fledged treatment. And that's when the people actually cared about music videos. But hey, <laughs> Thriller's impact obviously extended beyond music. It was the first music video inducted into the National Film Registry, a recognition of its significance, not only in pop culture, but in cinema as a whole. It's a mix of classic horror elements, seamless choreography, and advanced makeup effects, including Rich Baker's Oscar-winning transformation work. This set a new standard for music videos, forever changing the landscape of the genre. Now, if you fast forward to 1997, Ghost is where Michael Jackson really pushed his cinematic approach. It was directed by uh, Stan Winston. Uh, directed by Stan Winston, Ghost is actually a forty-minute supernatural epic that expanded on the themes that he first introduced with Thriller. Here, uh, MJ took on multiple roles, including a reclusive maestro and his and the villainous mayor of the small town, showcasing his range as a performer and pushing the boundaries of what music videos could achieve. Yes, I think people really forget. But Michael Jackson, while not really an actor, full-on entertainer, and was even up for some uh, major like film roles, he, by all means, was a creative through and through. And Ghost wasn't originally conceived as a standalone film. Actually, it was planned to be a collaboration for the Adams Family Values value soundtrack with a music video for the song, Is It Scary?, um, it was intended to match the film's dark, whimsical tone. However, due to Jackson's legal battles at the time, which we won't talk about, the project was shelved. Despite having uh, actually, ha uh, despite having uh, shot this entire sequence, which will later be revived when he reimagined the concept and expanded on it for the short film for Ghosts. Um, it evolved into a, a deeper narrative that stood out on its own. 
where Thriller paid homage to the horror genre with a straightforward tale of transformation, Ghost was a more complex gothic story with elements of fantasy and social commentary. It tells the tale of a misunderstood outsider with supernatural powers who is ostracized from uh, by its town people. Themes of fear, prejudice, and societal judgment permeate the story, all while interrogating jaw-dropping, no pun intended, special effects and Jackson's signature dance sequences. I mean, uh, prejudice, fear, societal judgment. It seems like art was imitating life or the other way around. But one of the most remarkable aspects of Ghost is how it reflects Jackson's growth as a storyteller. Thriller focus on single themes of, tra of transformation and Ghost delve deeper into the questions of identity, social perception, and morality. The also, his, his transformation between the maestro and the grotesque skeleton achieved through a blend of practical and, and uh, early CGI were particularly groundbreaking, creating an eerie and immersive experience that drew audiences into its narrative. And despite its limited release, Ghost is considered by fans to be one of Michael Jackson's most ambitious and artistically daring projects. It serves as a, a natural counterpart to Thriller, with with both films exploring themes of transformation and dancing with the macabre. But Ghost uh, elevates these concepts by adding complexity and, and storytelling depth. Both films stand out not merely as music videos, but cinematic experiences showcasing MJ's creative vision. He fused dance with cutting edge uh, effects to craft stories that resonated far beyond the songs themselves. Each film presents a world where music serves as a foundation, but narrative depth and stunning filmmaking transform them into immersive experiences. Michael Jackson, at the height of his art artistic innovation, not only as a performer, but also as a filmmaker. His approach to, to these short films set a benchmark for visual storytelling and music videos, influencing countless of artists and redefining the genre. Whether it's through iconic dance moves or thought-provoking narratives about identity and fear, I think Michael, Jackson, Michael Jackson's legacy is, in these films continue to leave a mark on both music and the film industry. Thriller and Ghosts are more than just videos. And you'd, I truthfully say this, you'd have to be ignorant to think that Michael Jackson wasn't a full-on creative. He had unparalleled vision, reminding us that he's not just a musical icon, but a storyteller. Again, without MJ, we don't have, well, we don't have quite a bit. And I think it's, I in part wanted to make this because he, he, I wouldn't call him a hero, but he's someone I certainly look up to and the way he um, changed how we, how we present music and changed the way how we tell stories. And, you know, he was really good at what he did. Also, it's October. So why not talk about Thriller and remind people that ghosts exist. And uh, if you haven't seen it, you should probably check it out on YouTube as soon as possible. So would I recommend Thriller and would I recommend ghosts? Yeah, absolutely. There's really nothing more. Yeah, of course I would. Absolutely. Again, if you haven't seen these uh, films, check them out. Watch his full unedited or full extended music videos if you haven't checked these out either. He made a point to, to really tell stories, and I can appreciate that in a space where that wasn't common. Not even not common, but just didn't exist. He decided to do something new and, and really create a world. Um, like Moonwalker was fantastic. I used to like play it constantly. Fantastic, and you just get so pumped up when Smooth Criminal came out. Um, <laughs> Dirty Diana. That, that movie was me. I'm gonna watch it again. Anyways, um, until next time.